Our celebrity hit trucker today is Dean Herring. How are you, Dean oh, Herring? Very well, mate. How are you? I'm really well. I've had a great day out here. It's been <laughs> awesome. a lot of fun. I've got a little bit dirty. The car's dirty. <laughs> um, now, you're a rally driver, which is just awesome to see people out there, you know, in doing the sport that they love. Um, you've won a few things. Take us through your career. Yeah, I tell my mates it looks good in the brochure. Lots of hard work there. Uh, look, I'm a second generation driver. At the end of the day, my father, Rob, won a couple of Australian championships and my idol in a lot of ways. And I was able to, luckily enough, follow in his footsteps and started off uh, beating the Hyundais around the bush locally and then nationally. And for the last 12 years, been contracted to Subaru to drive in the Australian championship and found myself in China and the Asia Pacific driving for people like Cusco and stuff like that. So uh, no, it's been a, a great ride. And like you say, doing something you love, fantastic. If someone was out there and they wanted to follow in your footsteps, how would they get involved? Look, it, it's easy to get involved in rallying. There's some great clubman series here locally. You know, it's uh, clubs that you can join and either become an official and get involved in, in grassroots motorsport and rallying. And then they can take your right to do the state, the state championship. You can run a round of the Australian uh, series, which we have over here in Perth. And then it builds up from there. As you show pace and you try and get a little bit of support on board, you can venture further than that and do the Australian series. And then even better, maybe overseas will make a career of it. But it, a lot of hard work. And I probably haven't realised, now I'm getting a little bit older, I look back, I must have been pretty keen about it because I've you know, sacrificed a bit over the time and, and really obviously wanted to be a, a rally driver at the end of the day. What was the career highlight so far? Now, you're far from the career being over, but thus far, what's the career highlight? Other than training me today how to drive. Well, that's very much up. <laughs> There, so I'm going to have to you know, have a look at that over the next coming weeks. Uh, look, I suppose any championships, you know, to pull together, we won the 2011 Targa Championship, and to have a Subaru beat some Lamborghinis and Jim Richards and his Porsche is pretty amazing. Uh, Pacific Cup champion in the Asia Pacific. Okay, now it's time for the Sand of Fast Five. I know you're sweating. <laughs> okay, so what was the first car you ever owned? First car I owned was actually the family car that I sort of half inherited was a Rover, a uh, 3.5 litre V8. A 1983 model. It's actually a good-looking car. OK, the second question is, what is your opinion of the best car on the road and why? For me, I love the GT Liberties. Turbocharged. I mean, I get to drive STIs and WXs in spirited motorsport and that a fair bit. So what I think I like about the GT is it's almost one of those cars with a bit of luxury involved. OK, this is the big one. This is where it comes down to. Let's see how many friends you have left after this one. <laughs> What's okay. your opinion of the worst car ever made that was on the streets? I tell you a car I don't get it. I've never driven one. I don't get for particularly Australia is a smart car. Okay, now second last question. What car do you drive today? I'm very lucky to be driving a GT Liberty. And the final question, what is your greatest fear? Yeah, not being good enough is a bit of a fear. Whatever that is, in life, in rallying, in motorsport, not being good enough, you're, I'm, you're, I aim pretty high. OK, well, uh, I'm going to wreck all of those. I, I think you're a great bloke. I've had a great day. But there is Thank something you. me and the crew want to tell you, the reason okay. this car is parked here and we haven't picked you up because we've run out of fuel. So while you go and get a jerry can, I'm going to wrap the show up. Thank you very, <laughs> Thank you, very, very, very much. You've been a great bloke.